Howdy folks, live from Big Top Chautauqua, welcome to another episode of Tent Show Radio. Funding support for Tent Show Radio is provided by the Bayfield Inn. Stay, dine, and relax year-on on the shoreline of Lake Superior in downtown Bayfield. Any traveler, any season, any meal, your view awaits. More info at thebayfieldinn.com. And by the Bayfield Chamber of Commerce, beautiful Bayfield in the Apostle Islands. You can tour sea caves and shop our galleries and stores on the shores of Lake Superior. Info at lodging at bayfield.org. And by the Ashland Chamber of Commerce. Check out Restaurant Month and win prizes at ashland.com. And now, here's your host of Tent Show Radio, best-selling author, humorist, and singer-songwriter, Michael Perry. Howdy, folks, and welcome to Tent Show Radio from Lake Superior Big Top, Chautauqua. Tonight, we take refuge in the voice of a singer who brings it every which way, the powerful Ruthie Foster. We'll listen back to a pair of her vintage performances sampled right here in the canvas tent of recollection and renewal beloved Big Top. And a little later on, I'll share a story about shucking beans, because I know that's the kind of content you're here for. Folks, the music you're about to hear emanates from a special space in a special place. The Big Top is just that, a grand blue and pearl gray striped canvas beauty suitable for a circus, but in this case, home to a history of live performance centered on the stage. Big top seats are set directly on the earth, and what a spot of earth it is. High atop a hill overlooking beautiful Bayfield, Wisconsin, Lake Superior, and those all-natural water-bound wonders, the Apostle Islands. If you enjoy that vision, if you enjoy what you hear over the course of the next hour, and, and you want to see and experience it firsthand, please get to know us at www.bigtop.org. It sounds beautiful up here because... It is beautiful up here. You ought to come on up. Tonight's retrospective guest, Ruthie Foster, hails from rural Texas and grew up singing in local worship services. After a stint serving in the Navy, she was signed to a deal with a major New York City record label, a label that immediately set about refashioning her image and her style, to which Ruthie Foster responded by heading right on back to Texas to do it her way. And as it turned out, Her way has led to multiple Grammy nominations, musical collaborations with everyone from Bonnie Raitt to the Allman Brothers, and most important of all, the powerful sound that can't be boxed in, but can be heard in all its glory right here, wrapped in big top canvas, ladies and gentlemen, from June of 2012, Ruthie Foster. Under the big top. Very cool. Well, my name is Ruthie Foster, in case you just tuned in.
I should be flying with the greatest of ease or something. There's still time for that, huh? It's true. It's still young. Mmm, little sister Rosetta Tharp right here. Music in the air 
that felt good. Uh, yeah. Get my, get my stretch. That was a little, that was a stretch. Oh. And if you try to mix the two together, I like to check it out, you know, wherever I go. I just like to make sure.
Mary said, we're going to have, have ourselves a little blues revival under this tent. Can, can we do that? We can do that, right? We can do that. This is a little something off of a, 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 my latest, well, my latest CD is actually a DVD, but this is one I recorded in Memphis. Needed, to, needed a little barbecue, so I went over to Memphis and recorded this, the, the Truth album. And uh, Ann Peebles recorded this one. Uh, had to do a little bit of soul, get a little soul to the mix. You know what I'm saying? She called this one, Keep Me Hanging On, all right?
Listening to Tent Show Radio. Welcome to Intermission, folks. One night last autumn, I stayed up until midnight shucking beans on behalf of the family. Lest this sound selfless, I should report that there was a football game on for most of the session, and shucking beans requires a minimum of attention, allowing me to gather up our humble harvest while yelling at millionaires. In fact, I didn't yell, because while it was a terrific game decided in the literal last second, My chosen team wasn't playing, and therefore I was less invested than I had been earlier in the day when I began my bean-shucking shift during the third quarter of the Packers game, which they were winning handily, but imperfectly. You gotta catch that, I hollered, and then spilled the beans, an irony bringing into question my right to question. My relationship with professional sports, most specifically football, is ambivalent in that I believe they are financially and culturally overvalued to an absurd extent. And yet, if you can do the job, you should get paid market rate. And man, I love watching them Packers. Our indulgent joys cannot always withstand critical review, and that's pretty much the point. There is the question of whether or not it would just be cheaper to buy a big bag of beans, but this too is an oversimplification placing too much emphasis on calculations devoid of nuance as it relates to how them beans taste if you remember how sore your thumbs were by the time you split the last husk. I also enjoy stepping outside at halftime to pour beans back and forth between tubs while the wind whisks the chaff clear. If only sifting the detritus from my own existence was so simple. How satisfying it is to pour the clean beans into a glass jar where they shine like an earth-toned collection of unstrung beads. Back to the sports and my millionaire comment, 
Once you dig in, you discover the numbers aren't that simple, and every time I hear the term pampered athletes deployed in the derogatory, I wonder exactly how many push-ups I would be willing to do and how many donuts I would deny in order to develop a cut to my triceps that could be used to slice cheese, never mind every other mental and physical commitment it takes to make the field at that level. The phrase shut up and play suggests a sense of ownership that is delusional at best and wishful at worst. By my freshman year in college, I knew I had played my final football game. I did harbor the fantasy that I was an undiscovered place-kicking prodigy until one day in my early 30s when I went to the local high school field and actually tried to kick a field goal. The results indicated I should probably run right back home and write a book or something. I have often overestimated my talents and, even more so, my importance. As antidote to this tendency, earlier that day, between games and bean shifts, my wife and I took a walk out back and down through the valley. The landscape shrunk me, as it does and as it should. The sumac had gone a saturated scarlet, and the first yellow birch leaves had dropped in a scatter across the lawn. These things would have happened even had I not reported them. And now, to continue in the theme of necessary humility... I like to do a little singing now and again. Then I hear Ruthie Foster sing, and I think two things. Number one, there's singing, and then there's singing. And number two, I'd like to hear some more. And so once again, this time from her Big Top visit in July 2011, here is more Ruthie Foster. Oh, God moved on the water April Well 
So that's a lot of fun, huh?
mother's door singing, come on, mother, ain't you ready to go? And my mother stooped down to cool up her shoes and she move on down by that Jordan stream and then she shot Funding support for Tent Show Radio is provided by the Bayfield Inn. With 21 hotel rooms, over 25 vacation rentals, a lounge, on-site restaurant, and rooftop bar, there's something for you at the Bayfield Inn. More info at thebayfieldinn.com. And we're brought to you by Bayfield County Tourism. Find out how to get in touch with your inner wild at travelbayfieldcounty.com. And by the Cable Chamber of Commerce, Cable, the gateway to Bayfield County, where world-class trails, forests, lakes, and adventure await. Visit cableforfun.com. That's cable, the number four, F-U-N dot com. Ruthie Foster, with the power to take us right back to the tent no matter the time or temperature. We hope to see you there again one day. Well, folks, that's our show for tonight. Whether you beam it or stream it, we thank you for listening. We're as grateful as a guy who's full of beans. We'd love it if you come on up Bayfield Way or down or over or through for a live show one day. Details always available at www.bigtop.org. You can visit me anytime at sneezingcow.com. Until next, we share the air. Remember, where I come from and here at Tent Show Radio, nobody ever says goodbye. They just say, well, I suppose.